In this video of JavaScript, we are going to deal with the error handling. Error handling is basically a very important concept in any scripting or programming language. Because once you write a code and if it get compiled or interpreted successfully, that means it is fine and now it's good to execute. But during the execution, any time it may cause something which will may result, which may result the error at the runtime and those runtime errors are called exceptions at the runtime only the exceptions can be handled for example if you have any syntax or logical errors we will not be able to handle such things but if it is any runtime error or exceptions that can be handled how we will use some keywords for that like try catch finally and throw each of these keywords has a different significance. For example, all the suspected code, which I may think like it may cause some exception. So I will put all that suspicious code inside this try block. So if in case that gives you an exception, that can be handled by the catch block. But if it doesn't raise any error exception, so this catch will not be functioning. If I want manually to raise any exception, I can go for the throw keyword for that. And similarly, I have a finally keyword which will call its particular statements even though the exceptions are not handled. So rather than discussing here, now we can go on the systems and can start implementing the exception handling. So here in the exception handling, I have created a very simple program here. So here, as you can see in the header, I have a script tag and I have created a function now also with the name myFunk. Now inside this, I have taken a variable a in which I have assigned a number, any random number, let's say 100. And after that, I will start working the implementation. So basically, as I said, with whatever the statement will feel like that maybe it may cause an exception. I will put all that particular code in the try block. If there is an exception, then that particular exception will be handled by the catch. And after that, you may add a finally block which will be executing for sure. So for example, if you are writing something uh, like you are establishing a connection or maybe getting the data from some uh, external machine. So in that particular case, there may be some situation like due to some network issues, uh, your communication or your execution is not happening properly. So the exception will occur and if that occurs, the catch block will be in action. So uh, doesn't matter even if the exception is there or not this finally block basically executes every time. So for example, if you are establishing a connection with some external resource, so if you want to close the connection, you can do that inside the finally block because if the uh, communication is successful, it's okay. At the end, I would like to close the connection. If the connection is unsuccessful or maybe there's some problem while reading the data, even though I want to close the connection. so such things which you must do after at the end of the uh, communication or the at the end of the any implementation you will must you will have to put that inside the finally block and now uh, let's say what i have done here since i just wanted to get an exception here so what i did i am just converting this a to the uppercase but as we see it is a number and number cannot be converted to the upper or lower case. So obviously I will get an exception. So let's execute this program first without the uh, this exception line. So let's refresh it and if I click here. So as per the program, it will say value of variable A is 100. When I'll say OK, you see there is one more alert in the catch, but that error one is not uh, executed and then finally the control comes inside here so finally block will always execute all right now let's remove this comment save the program and refresh the browser so here you see the error message is there all right because what I'm trying to do I'm trying to convert the case of a number which is not possible so let's say okay 
and here you see finally block will always execute so it doesn't matter uh, whether the there is an exception or not the try catch the try block will execute for sure if inside the try block any statement is causing an exception then catch and after catch finally block will execute if there is no exception then after catch directly finally block will execute if you are writing a finally block it will execute for sure but it is never compulsory to add the finally block while working with the exception handling or error handling in JavaScript